Hey, what's up everyone? Um, this is Frederick, your technical drawing to turn this channel. Now, this is another example on um, development. Okay, so straight up. Now, the figure four shows the front elevation and an incomplete plan of a truncated rec rectangular pyramid. Now, this is a rectangular pyramid. Okay, now incomplete plan. This is the plan, but it's not complete. All right. So this is the elevation. You have all the dimensions and everything you need to construct the elevation and the plan. Now the question says draw the full size. The number one front elevation. So we're going to be producing this complete plan. We're going to be completing this plan. And surface development of the pyramid using XX as the scene. So we're going to develop this pyramid from this part. Okay, so you start um by drawing this plan well in this case you can start with the elevation because you can see that the dimensions here the 60 they are corresponding all right because you are viewing from the surface all right okay so but we start with the plan that will project into the elevation so draw a rectangle of 60 by 40. okay so there's my rectangle that is representing the rectangular base all right so now Again, you know it's a pyramid, so you're going to draw the diagonal, but use thin lines because it is truncated. So use thin lines, draw, join the diagonals. Right. So this is the apex of the pyramid. Right. Okay, so now we're going to draw this base now. So it's simple. Transfer lines. Align your set square with this horizontal line here. Okay, support with your ruler, just move to any convenient point of your choice, say here, okay, and draw the base. Of the elevation. All right, now align your set square with a vertical line. We want to transfer a vertical line to this center, this midpoint, and draw it up. So align your set square with a vertical line, support with your ruler, and transfer to the center here and draw a very thin line from the center upward. Good. Now the height is 75. So we're going to measure 75 here. So that's 75. Now from here, 75, we're going to join to the base with a thin line. And from the 75, also join to the base on this side with a thin line. All right. Okay. So now this height here, okay, the height here is 20. Not the slant height, is the perpendicular height. So we're going to measure 20. Then we'll locate this corresponding point here on this slant line. Okay? So it's very simple. Get your ruler. Measure 20. So this is 20. All right? Now when you're done with that, get your set square. Align with the base support with your ruler now move it until you get to that point where you measured 20 right but this time around now note the corresponding point on the slant line here so that's it all right so take note of this point okay so now the angle as we're told is 45 degrees so get your 45 degrees here square this is my 45 degrees but first of all let me align my ruler with the horizontal Okay, let, or maybe I should use, you can use this, this horizontal line, or you can use this one, but because of allowance, I would like to use this. So bring your 45 degrees set square and adjust until it touches the point here, not this one. So once it touches the point, ensure your rulers are set and set square, then draw a line across like this, a thick line. And that's it. So all you need to do is complete the elevation with visible outlines. <sighs> so
so that's your elevation all right all right so the first thing we're going to do is to draw the what the uh, complete plan okay uh, we've drawn the front elevation now let's draw the complete plan and the plan is not complete because it, it was um, actually truncated so now i have numbered it always ensure to number okay it helps now zero one two three and back that's four making it four sides you understand so now you are going to transfer once again you see this line this line is for zero and four this line is for one this line is for three and this line is for two all right so now this line also okay it's for zero four and one you can see zero four for this point here y one corresponding with this point so this whole line is for zero four and one so this is it the point here the corresponding point so if you trace it up this is for zero four and one now this two and three here if you trace it up this is for three and two for this line okay now i am going to draw lines a vertical line from here okay because this is for three and two it's going to cut line three and line two and i will obtain some points on both lines these diagonals now i'm also going to draw a perpendicular line or rather a vertical line from this point down remember this line is for zero one and four or if you like you can just say zero and one so if this is zero and one it will cut line zero and cut line one all right so this is what i mean now align your set square with this vertical line here support with your ruler all right so let's transfer to this point so if i draw a line down i'm going to use the line to cut line zero and one because this point is for zero and one or if you like zero one and four so it is intersecting at this point and at this point so i'll continue to this point here so i will draw thin lines down cutting you know this is for line three and two okay so three and two so it will cut three and it will cut two so i will join all points with a straight line using my ruler so you connect them with a thick line right and that gives you the truncated um surface the part that is cut out okay so now we're not done yet you draw these thick lines do not extend the thick line in, into this part because it has been cut off join this part with thick lines and that's it so what you do next is you hatch the surface so i'm just going to draw one 45 degree line and i will use it for the others so let me hatch this surface every sliced or truncated surface must be hatched okay so this is the complete plan that we've been asked to draw so the next thing we're going to do now is to develop um the truncated um rectangular base elevation all right so now before you start your development you have to um look for the true length on this side because this actually is not the true length all right you so you can't develop from here it's wrong so why because if i needle my pair of compass here and i stretch one of the diagonals this okay all right you can see it's touching all the diagonals okay but if i'm going to be developing from this point that is this very point you can see it's not touching this um part of the plan it's coming out so i'm going to look for this point because i'm transferring this diagonal this to the horizontal so i'm going to draw a horizontal line here and i will draw an arc from this point to the horizontal and i will transfer or look for the corresponding point on the horizontal of this elevation don't worry i will explain let me demonstrate so extend this base with a thin line ok 
Okay, when you're done, now come over and transfer the horizontal line to the center, this center here. So align your set square like this and your ruler. Now transfer to the center here and draw a line from the center, a thin line, draw it out. Once you're done with that, get your pair of compass needle at the center here. Okay. Just stretch to any of the edge edges, okay? So we use one and draw an arc to touch this horizontal line. Good. When you're done with that, now transfer a vertical line. So align your set square with any of the vertical line here. Okay. Support with your ruler. Transfer to where the arc touches this horizontal line. Okay. And extend the line up. Hold on. Okay. Extend the line up until it touches the base of this line you drew. Okay. So this is it. So this is where your development will start from. So this is the true length of the side. You connect from the top to this point. Let's call this top zero. So this is where your development should start from. Not from here. Okay. All right. So now needle on this point. Hold on. Let me adjust the paper. Okay. So needle on this point O. Stretch to this point now, not this one. No, this, this particular one here. Stretch there. Okay. And draw an arc, thin line, up. All right. So when you're done doing that, what you do next is, now remember this is a rectangular base. So all the sides are not equal. So what you do is, since you are developing from here, remember we were asked to what? Develop using XX as the same. So we are developing from this side. So now we are moving from 0 to 1, from 1 to 2, from 2 to 3, from 3 to 4, which is the same thing as 0. So 4, we have 4 as the first part. So you stretch 4 or just come to the plan and stretch uh, what you have on the plan. It's the same thing, 4. You know this plan is 60 by 40 or 6 by 4 in CM. So you stretch for, come here, cut. All right? Now the next length is, okay, oh, you can see that. Um, okay, I have to make this. Oh, okay, so sorry about that. So now what I mean is you stretch for here. This is 4 centimeter. Okay, that's the first movement. So you come over here, you needle here, you cut. That's it. Then the next one is six. Or just come over here and stretch this length. It's the same thing. Now you stretch six on your ruler. Then continue from this this arc here and cut. All right. Then the next one is four again. Four. That is three to two. From where you stopped, you needle there. You cut. I hope that's clear. Then we have six again, which is the last part. Stretch three to zero, which is six. Or just stretch six on your ruler. Then you come over here. You continue from where you stopped. And cut. So that's the last part there. So connect all these points to the apex, which is straight thin line. Okay. So we've done that. Now we've also labeled it. Now this is 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, then uh, 4, 4. All right. Okay, so we're going to transfer lines or rather draw horizontal line, align your set square like this. Okay with the base support with your ruler now draw these points both points draw them out with thin lines to touch this first line you drew here so draw it to touch the line then you move it up draw this to touch the line so we have these two points now get your pair of compass 
needle on zero stretch to this point here now remember not this one not this one no this one in front where it is touching this line and draw an arc all the way up and uh, stretch here as well and draw an arc all the way up and that's it so the next thing we do now is we're going to match numbers now do not forget this is for what zero one and four see zero and four represent this point here one represents this point so both of them are on the same line so if you trace it up okay this was zero one and four don't forget this was zero one and four so you're going to match dot all corresponding points where it um coincides with zero one and four so we move from here now so this is zero you dot still on the same arc you move remember zero one and four this is one you dot still on the same arc you move i hope you can see that so this is two no it is four so this is four four so we have those points then let's move over to this side now this is two and three so this is the point for two and three so wherever you see two three you dot two and three the same line okay so this is for two and three so we move this is two we move and this is three now remember this is two two and this is three we dot three so when you're done doing that connect all the points with a straight line not curve because it is what a rectangular base pyramid so with thick lines you connect them sorry so that's it then connect here also just join it thick line and you join here the thick line now remember a pyramid a rectangular pyramid so you cannot have a curve here like in the case of cone so you're going to connect them with a straight line so 0 to 1 representing 0 to 1 1 to 2 representing 1 to 2 2 to 3 4 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 for three to four so one more thing you have to make this path thick line as well so this is the development this is the elevation and this is the sectional plan okay so there you have it the sectional plan the elevation and the development all right guys um do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you've not done that and um like um this video as well thank you for watching and have a nice day